What are we brake testing today? Brake testing some V threads, my friend. Yeah? It's gonna be a big day. What's a V-thread? You use two screws, go down, connect the rope, tie it off like a boss, and then we try to break it. Tell me about this ice. It's also, different than waterfall ice. It is, it is. It's very, very dense. I mean, we're talking about ice that has moved, compressed for hundreds of years. Approaching first a glacier in Iceland, right? If we kind of back up for a second. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. And just to give you context, the valley you walk through, this was carved by the ice. Right, so you okay. had this massive, massive glacier breaking the, the igneous basalt around this, just scraping the rock. That's also what you walked on today. And if you notice as you walk by even next to us, you can see the striations on the rock as it's grinding and moving forward. And so this glacier used to be way closer to the car. Yeah, so if we go back, for example, to 1895, all the glaciers on this, these outlets here of the ice cap were all kilometers further forward. And so in a year, all this would be gone. Exactly, like what we're testing on today will be gone. Like that ice will be gone in probably weeks, right? So the, the melt happens so quickly. So people shouldn't be too worried about the fact we're breaking this ice. <laughs> no, I mean, you could, you could come here and kick as much as you want and break as much as you want and it would be gone anyway. So as long as it doesn't fall on us, then yeah, we're Yeah, yeah, we're just pulling it towards us. That's yeah, the that's... weird part. So we established a pulley on this other block of ice and we're installing this V-thread kind of, kind of in the ceiling of this other block of ice. Yeah. So we're pulling in sheer. Exactly. Instead yeah. of tension or straight out, exactly. shear is how you normally use it. It is, yes. That's what we do in the guiding world. That's what we we'll do in the clients, and yeah, it's ideal. That's how we rigged the high line and the rope jump. Mm -hmm. Standard guys getting like 16, 12 centimeters of a thread. Because they're cro Exactly. And what they're yeah. doing, they're probably putting one in and they're getting the, the other one just like right up here. You're just using your ice screws that you have. Exactly. And the longest ice screw is how long? 21 to 22, depending on the brand. Cool. And then the ice threading tool mm -hmm. just fishes that out. Exactly. Because the rope goes in and you have the acute angle. Yeah. And we have to pull the rope through. So we have so this have nice have little sharp tool. I mean, you could use like a, for example, a sling if you lose your hook and just pull it through. Oh, you put the sling past. Exactly. Pull. Ideally, just okay. pull it through. And you don't do this lead climbing. You do this to build like an anchor. Yeah, if we're making an anchor long term, like yeah. for example, on a glacier to secure clients to the ice, mm -hmm. we would use V-threads because we want those threads to last for weeks. But if you're repelling off like a waterfall or, or something that you're going down and you want to leave no trace of your gear, yeah. can you thread your actual climbing rope through this? We do, yeah. But the thing to consider then, it may freeze. Okay. And as soon as each person goes, we have to pull the rope and just check, make sure. It did freeze on us last night when we were cleaning up from the photo that we got that had like the two holes and the fire dancing. The one anchor froze, we had to all pull to break it loose. Yeah. We'll find out what it is. We That's will. what this whole episode's about, baby. I'm just gonna make a shallow V-thread with a really skinny cord and just see how it goes. It keeps getting clogged with ice. That's wow, crazy. Wow, dude, it's cracking. I bet if you jerk that thing right now, the whole thing comes out. <laughs> that's gonna be <laughs> yeah that's really compromised as hell man when you're on lead usually you want sharper screws <laughs> <laughs> and usually you're not placing them in the ceiling <laughs> actually it's nice to leave one screw in and then you can see your angle this is actually helpful <laughs> this is just cracking <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it connects. All right, we want six mil thread in there, yeah? Yep, hopefully the ice breaks. Oh, nice. And what's that tool? This is a V-thread tool. This has a hook and has a little saw on it and you can cut your cord and this can also hook on your harness. So what's your knot of choice? I usually go overhand follow through. What? The saw just popped off. <laughs> We're supposed to break test the ice, man, not the tools. <laughs> yeah, I usually go this knot because it just takes the least amount of rope and it's super strong. Super strong? How do you know? Here, let's find out. Yeah. I'd say like this V-thread is like close to... Close to good? Close to what we usually do. Okay. Like the depth of it. So our line scale three is in this Pelican case or most of what a Pelican case is. We um, basically have it going from zero to fast, fast and the meat is sliding out of the sandwich. And so in order to protect this line scale, we had something break on this side earlier in a test and everything went flying that way and 
things got damaged. In order for it to not slide out, I put the sling around here and then VT prussicked it and kind of just did this janky thing. Kind of makes it a pain to open and close, but I really don't want to break a line scale on this trip. We've already broken, I think, Stefan's carabiner and Janet's ice screw. Did we break anything else? Oh, and Alice just broke a V thread tool. Let's break this six mil cord. Oh, wow. Get it tight. Oh, there's a nice core. Interesting. So it was at in the, the nut. Yeah. yeah, at the nut. I mean, I think that'll be a failure point each time. Wow. Hold on. You got to say, wow. Wow. Ah, crikey. <laughs> Failed busy on both sides of the knob. We also pulled it like three times pretty yeah, hard, yeah. right? Sure. But uh, it was also cracking a fair amount of the ice. Yeah, so you see the line here. Here and then yeah. here. In the grand reveal, what was the number? I say 10. Yeah, boo, boo, boo. Oh, 10.39. 10.39. <laughs> like a shangle outbound. Shangle outbound. <laughs> nice. Like a shangle outbound. That's a fair amount, like six millimeter at 10 kilonewton. Well, think about the ice screws, oh, right? They you got to point to the corner of the screen. Oh. So they, that's right. They look at the other episode. <laughs> <laughs> Same V-thread. I would like to see the ice blow out. It makes for better slow-mos. So I can make a better intro for people. I don't have to just bore them with all that awesome hiking footage we got. It's amazing. <laughs> Where else can you see this though? Like this is really cool. What you got there? This is a seven mil cord. All right, do the grand reveal. Wow, that is not that much stronger than the six. Well, that's actually Damn. shocking. It didn't seem like it was any stronger. How did it break is interesting. It was definitely where the carabiner was touching it. Like the carabiner put more of a sharp bend radius than the back of the V. I thought the back of the V would compromise a rope. You can see we have the spans it here, it goes through this V thread. If you remove the spans, you can actually see how it smoothed itself the ice away just through the pressure. So there's no sharp bends here. Let me explain how we're actually breaking this stuff so you can kind of understand context. We have put a span set inside of this mostly straightly drilled hole. And assuming that this isn't all sun crusted and that there was enough good ice here, which there is. We're also, we use a sling to take both sides. It wasn't long enough to go over. And I think this really helps pull more on the strength of this ice instead of like straight up. And then these pulleys, they're rated for 30, uh, 48 kilonewtons here at the eye because it's the plates that break. We're obviously not gonna get 48 with just us pulling, but we found that a five to one with a bunch of people pulling is way more efficient than like an 81 to one with one person pulling. Here, we don't have a lot of distance left, but we don't need that because these aren't super stretchy samples. Not having a grigri in here makes it easier to, you know, we don't have as so much friction, but if you're pulling, you kind of have to keep pulling or you like you can't reset. Like you can all take turns shifting the the ascenders, but as you saw in the breaks so far, we have everybody sitting down. This is not a terrain we want people falling on. Been working great. I think what was our record on the last video? 26. So we got 26, which actually is perfect because you really don't want more than that on a line scale three. Once you hit 30, the screen breaks, the body will be super safe. The body is rated, the screen is rated to 30. A little tension. Okay, do we like how straight in line we are? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh! No shit. Wow, look at the spray all over the rock here. That, oh that yeah. You can see the, the threads here. It's a V thread. <laughs> Do the grand reveal. Ooh. What? Oh, what did the other one break us? Like 11. So the ice was only 3K and more, yeah. but the rope still has life in it. Yeah. Because this eight to eight breaks at 18. We got more life in that. We should pull it again. Shall we stick it in a deeper hole? Find out the strength of this in a loop. We're making another V thread. Sometimes it's nice to leave your first screw in there while you're placing your second screw so you can see the alignment. Because you can miss it, right? You can yeah, like... you can easily miss it. I do imagine this one being stronger than the other one. Because it's on a more like a flat, like it's more like inside. So let's get in our rowboat. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. No damage, my friend. What do we have to say about that? Well, there's no damage to the ice, though. Oh, I can see this one was more shallow. Uh, this one was longer. And you, you had like 
a metric inch that you could have gone deeper. Grand is... reveal. 15 series. Ah, we were pretty close. But this was a V thread, right? This was not an A thread. Correct. Well, based on our fake orientation yes. of gravity. <laughs> so we've been talking about grain structure in ice. In waterfall ice, which is what most people around the world are climbing on, you have this grain structure in the ice that causes it to shear in the horizontal plane. That's why you'll sometimes have entire waterfalls collapsing. Okay. And that's why you see like sometimes this flat, clear breaks. But here in the glacial ice, the glacier rotates. So we'd have chaotic grain structure here. So changing from a V thread to an A thread. Yeah, A threads are the th V thread basically in a vertical alignment. So there's not a lot of value in testing that here because you're not gonna test the grain. Yeah. If anything, you're testing the rope, which isn't breaking on us. Yeah. We would have to do a, a much deeper V thread with the big drill. To break the rope. To break the rope. Yeah. Should we do that? One big drill, final finale? <laughs> Yeah, 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 So this test is going to be pretty intense. So we have a fuse here. This will break before the, the line scale three screen. And because last time it, it broke, all of this went flying in our ice screw video. Now we have this as a backup to the fuse. And then we have this catching system. This is what's going to catch our thing if it goes this way. Basic, uh, your overhand thing overhand again? Fall through. Okay. I think it's going to put a lot more force on the top of this, uh, but it's still not going to break it. No, the bottom of this rope's going to see almost no force. Three, two, one. 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 Oh. Don't need the hand warmers anymore. When you have that much rope in the system, even just that bigger thread, it just stretches so much you couldn't even break the carabiner. Whoa, what the hell? So this, this saw very little force. I mean, it's compressed a little bit there, but most of it's at the top. If you did an A thread, you would have more force on, on, the top hole. on one of the holes. I know it might break lower even in this grain, but too cold to find out. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button so we eventually do it. What? Wow. Strong well, guy. Yeah, yeah, our carabiner didn't break. It almost, it was almost there. I don't think you need it stronger than that, do you? No. No? No. Good I could highlight on that. Wait, I did. And you can see that video right here. <laughs>